what's up guys and welcome back to Emacs USA and in today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about our video transmitter and our goggles and how to get you guys on the correct channel so you guys will have the most optimal flying experience so let's hop right into it and there's a couple of things I'm going to talk about on these goggles I'm not going to go over the whole thing if you guys want to know more about these make sure to go to our knowledge base and go to your manual there and they'll give you a little brief description of all the settings that these goggles have inside them but the two things I want to talk about is how to manually select your channel and band and also the auto scan feature. And with the auto scan feature, this is pretty handy if you don't know exactly what channel your quad is on. You can actually hit the auto scan feature, make sure that they're a couple feet away and it'll go through all the channels and pick up whichever one that a signal is being transmitted on. Now, I personally don't like to use the auto scan feature because sometimes I found that it'll go on a channel that's just there, but it's not the exact channel that your quad is on. So the farther you fly away, you may get some static. So what I like to use is actually the frequency and the band channel here and go exactly on the band and frequency that you're on. So if you're on race band four on your quad, you can actually go in here and choose race band and then you can go to channel four on race band. But when you hit these buttons, make sure that you do a long press, like hold it for a second and then it'll switch. There's a lot of times when people do the short press and it won't change and they think something's wrong with their goggles. So you wanna make sure that you hold it down for a second and it'll change your band or channel. Now moving on to our quad, you'll notice something different here. I kinda of took out the camera so I can show you guys close ups of the VTX. But with your quad, it comes with a thing called Smart Audio. Now with Smart Audio, this allows you to change band and channel all through the Betaflight OSD through your goggles. So to get into that, you're gonna plug in your quad, turn on your goggles, and as soon as your quad goes through its boot sequence, you're gonna go and use a special command on your controller to go into the Betaflight OSD. And that command is with the left stick, you go to the middle position and to the left. And with the right stick, you wanna go all the way up and to the right. And this will get you into the Betaflight OSD menu. And within that Betaflight OSD menu, you're gonna to wanna to go down to features and inside features, you'll find the VTX. And within that menu, you'll be able to change the band, the channel, and even the power output. On some of our models, you'll be able to access 100 milliwatt and 200 milliwatt power. Now, with that being said, the only way you can access that power is unlocking the VTX. But before you go ahead and unlock the VTX, I gotta go over a couple of rules that the FCC in the United States states that we need to have. And that is a amateur ham radio license. If you don't have an amateur ham radio license, it's actually illegal in the United States to go on anything above 25 milliwatts. And there's actually a couple of channels that are locked too that you're not allowed to access without that amateur ham radio license. Now with our friends overseas, over in the EU, you actually cannot unlock your VTX at all. It's against your regulations to go over 25 milliwatts. So unfortunately, you won't be able to do this next process, but I'm gonna show the process real quick for those of you out there that do have your amateur ham radio license and you wanna go on a power that's a little bit more powerful than the 25 milliwatts, this is how you're gonna do it. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find the VTX button on top and you're gonna to wanna to hold that down while you plug in your battery. So I'm gonna do that right now to unlock our VTX. I have the button pressed right here and I'm gonna plug in our drone. And as soon as you do that, your VTX is now unlocked and you can get to those channels that were locked previously and you'll be able to get to the stronger power like the 100 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt. Now, if smart audio is not the thing for you and you don't like that on changing the channels, you can also use the button on the VTX to do this. Now, I suggest to go in beta flight and shut off smart audio because if you do use the button, the next time you cycle the power, smart audio is gonna take over and it's just gonna go back to the channel and band that smart audio said that it was on. So if the button method is the method you wanna use, make sure to turn off that smart audio option in beta flight. Now, when using the button, to get into your band, your channel, and your power, you're gonna to wanna to hold it down. And this is gonna take a couple of seconds and a blue light's gonna come on. 
and that's going to indicate that you're going to want to change your band setting and to change your band setting you're going to hold the button down again for a couple of seconds and the blue light's going to start flashing and the amount of flashes is going to indicate which band you are on and like i said before you can go into the manual at knowledge base and i'll give you a little chart to show you which flash indicates which band so right now it's flashing four times and that's indicating that we're on the fat shark band and i'm completely fine with that so if you want to save the band that you're on you're going to hold it down again and the blue light is going to go solid now when i hit the button once when i short press it it's going to go over to the green light and this green light indicates your channel so just like the blue light if i want to change my channel i'm going to hold down the button for a couple of seconds and the green light should start flashing and it does and it's flashing four times as well so that means i'm on fat shark four and that's perfectly fine with me so i'm going to hold that down and it's going to go solid again and if i hit the vtx button one more time short press it it's gonna go over to a red light, which indicates your power. Now, if I hold that button down, the red light's gonna start blinking, and this means we can change the setting. And right now it's on 25 milliwatts, but since we have the VTX unlocked, we can access the 100 milliwatts and the 200 milliwatts. So if you short press the button, it's gonna blink twice, indicating 100 milliwatts. And if you short press it again, it's gonna blink three times, indicating 200 milliwatts. Now I'm gonna hold it in again, and the light's gonna go solid. And to save these settings, you're going to hold in the button until all the lights go off and it goes dark. And then you can go ahead and let go of the button and it will cycle through all the lights again and you can verify that you're on the correct band, the channel, and the milliwatt. Well guys, that's it on this video. Hopefully this helped you out in getting to know your VTX and your goggles a little bit better. And if I forgot anything or if you guys have any helpful tips or tricks that I did not mention, make sure to comment down below and make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell. That way you guys are up to date on videos I release here on this channel. But until the next one, guys, I'll catch you later.